Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. On today's gear review, I'm gonna be talking about sort of an unorthodox product, and that is a snow broom. Um, if you are not familiar with what a snow broom is, they are freaking awesome. I used to work at a car dealership when I was a younger man, and we used snow brooms to clean off hundreds of cars on the, on the car lot whenever we would get dumped on with snow. These things are super fast, they're easy to use, they're really nice, they don't scratch your paint, they're awesome. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, you know what, this would be perfect to keep inside my rig, so if I go camping somewhere and I wake up and I've got, you know, six inches of snow, I'm not like using my sleeve or something trying to like scrape off the, the windshield and everything so that I can see where I'm going and kind of get the snow off the rig. Um, so again, I'm gonna unbox this, I'm gonna show you all the features and everything on this, I'm gonna talk about, you know, the benefits of these things again if you're unfamiliar with what a snow broom is I'm gonna walk you through that um, but let's get into it all things overlanding is brought to you by some fantastic companies you should definitely check out the description and click through their links to see all the awesome stuff they offer companies like red arc for all your overlanding power management needs last us bag tons of amazing quality overlanding bags Rugged Bound Supply Company, rooftop tents, awnings, roof racks, and more. The Moore Expo 2022. Get your tickets below. And Northology Overland. Guided overlanding trips and a free overlanding magazine. All right, guys. So today on this gear review, I'm talking about the Joy Tuttis uh, Snow Broom. Uh, again, I you know this is a really cool thing. And if you are not familiar with these, if you've never heard of these and you just had like scrapers or like the ones with the little brushes on them, those suck, right? They're terrible. They can scratch your paint. You gotta watch out for them. They're just not ideal, right? So when I saw this thing, it's really cheap. It's like 20-ish bucks. It's really not a, a big expenditure at all. And it folds down and it comes with a bag too. I was super excited. So again, I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna show you everything that comes with it. Um, it does come with kind of this like really nice, it's really thick and sort of heavy uh, microfiber type towel. I'm assuming that's just for like drying stuff off. I guess we'll see here in a second if I'm wrong. Um, like I mentioned, it comes with a bag too. So you can keep everything in this. You know, you're gonna use this for snow and this is kind of like a waterproof material. So when you get done with it, it folds back down, fits in this bag and you could throw it back in like your drawer systems, your trunk, under your seat, wherever you wanna store it. Um, also comes with a pair of gloves. So again, if you are wearing like nicer gloves or if you're wearing really warm gloves and you don't wanna mess with getting them wet, you could throw these on, keep these in the bag with your, your snow broom, use these for dusting off the car and then swap back to your warm gloves when you're done. So that's nice, which is nice. Have some cheap gloves that you don't have to worry about. Um, then these are all the components of the snow broom. So it does have a scraper on it, which is pretty nice. So basically what you do is you push in on this little button here and just snaps together and locks in place. And then you just put them all together like that. So, you know, you've got your scraper on one end and then this all goes together. And when you're done putting it together, it's actually really long. So you can see it's probably about five feet long with a scraper on one end and then your snow brush actually goes on the other end. And what this is, is it's basically made of like a sort of a semi-hard but mostly soft foam. And again, it's shaped sort of like an S, so it's like almost like a plow, right? It's like a plow that you can use to scrape the snow off. So you can throw this up on the vehicle. There's a little button here that you use to fold this out. You push on that and then fold this up, locks in place. And then like I mentioned, that's gonna go into this end, right? Push in your button, boom. Another really nice thing about this is that it is extendable. So, you know, if you need the extra foot of reach to get across a bigger vehicle or if you have a lifted vehicle, push in this button, extend it out, locks in place, and you've got a little bit of extra reach. Otherwise, you fold it down, saves you a little bit of space when you're packing it up. But again, when you are pushing or pulling snow with this, you know, you can push the snow across the vehicle or you could turn it over with the sort of S side down and you could pull the snow back towards you. You can use this to clean your hood off. If you have a solar panel on the roof of your vehicle or somewhere else, like I do, then you could use this to get the, the snow off the solar. So the solar can be you know, sucking down energy from the sun. Um, again, this is designed to not hurt your paint, so it shouldn't scratch the paint. Um, but again, the fact that this thing gets you know this long with a scraper on one end for ice, and the snow broom on the other end for getting all that snow off your car. And the fact that it then folds down into a super small carrying case with a bag and comes with the gloves and sort of this towel to dry yourself off, dry this thing off before you put it away. It's a really good deal, right? For like 20-ish bucks. Again, it's it may not be something you're gonna use every day. I use these for my wife's car. I have, I have two of these now, um, but I use one that I just keep in the garage. And if you know my wife is going somewhere the next day and it snowed overnight, I go out with this thing, it takes me about a minute and a half or two to sweep her whole car off the roof. Because you know how that is when you're driving down the road and you got snow flying everywhere off your vehicle, nobody behind you can see, it's not very safe. 
Um, it also makes it hard for you to see, like if you have it all over your hood because you just scraped your window because all you had was a scraper. Um, this thing solves that problem. This thing will push huge amounts of snow off. You know, a foot of snow, you can get off with this thing in a couple minutes. So I'm a huge fan of these things. I think this one's really nice. It's really solid, it's well constructed. I like the fact that it breaks down and it will fit inside this bag again. So it gives you a, just an easy way to store it without taking up a ton of room. Um, so this is going in my rig. This is what this is for. It's going in my rig for this winter. If we get snow and I wake up to snow on my rooftop tent, I can get it all off the top of the rooftop tent, clean off my hood, clean off my, my headlights, clean off my windshield, all that good stuff with this thing, fold it back up, throw it in the bag, and I'm good to go. So again, that is basically, those are the features of this thing. Um, fully breaks down, it's got an extension built into it, it's got the snow broom, got the scraper. So you've got everything you need to be ready for winter. So again, I hope that gives you some good info on this thing. If you have any questions about it, again, I'm pretty familiar with snow brooms because I love them. I, I use them all the time. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you have any comments on it, if you've used something like this, post up in the comments below. If you're not already, make sure to click that subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a gear review pretty much every week and a, a podcast slash vlog about overlanding. So if you're into any of that sort of stuff, do-it-yourself mods, budget mods, anything like that, uh, you'll definitely want to subscribe. Also in the description below are links to Facebook, Instagram, podcast. I have a Patreon page where like weekend warriors that want to learn from each other and talk to each other come and sort of hang out. So join the Patreon page. And then also a newbie overlanders group on Facebook. So wherever you want to come hang out, I'd love to have you. Um, so definitely check those links out down in the description below. Um, but again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.